Sue. And the baby. Has she had her baby? No, didn't she have twins? Did I don't she? know. Ooh, uh. Um, anyway, my week was very exciting um, because... Did anything else happen to you? Uh, no. My week was very exciting because, um, first of all, I went to see Les Negress Vert, who I thought were like some really dull world music type of band. Can and I tell you uh, what I thought that meant at one stage? What? Although it doesn't. And I'm not trying to be offensive by anything here, but I actually thought that Les Negress Vert meant the Black Negroes. Really? I don't know why I thought that, but I did. Would be the green negro, surely. The, the green negresses is negresses. actually means. Oh, but there we are. That was close, though. Yeah, almost. Um, yes, yeah, so I went to see them, which is very exciting, and interviewed them for the programme, then left the tape in London, so we'll mm. have them on next week. Next week, I'm going to interview Ice T. Mm. Mm. And oh. Body Count. He's, he's a nice band. And um, what else happened this week? They're my mum's favourite band. <laughs> <laughs> And also, um, well, did anybody see the documentary this week about the cosmetic surgery clinic in Bromsgrove? No. No. I did, I did. Gross. What about the colour of the fat? Oh, gross. Liposuction, I know, yes. but I've been toying with the idea of having cosmetic surgery. Um, but I don't think I will now. Oh, I wouldn't. You need it. Well, oh, Paul. I'll show you the no, picture. No, I said, you oh. need it. Question mark. Question mark. Right, I'll, I'll show you the picture I drew. <laughs> <laughs> uh, earlier, which, which, which is why I need cosmetic surgery. Um, be cheaper to erect scaffolding. However, when I believe me, that's still above your belly button, Samantha. Yeah. <laughs> however, I, um, I so I watched this documentary and realised that it's the self same cosmetic surgery clinic that me and Viv got thrown out of about three years ago. Oh really? Yeah. Were you thrown out? I can't tell you on air, but we got thrown out of there. I actually recounted the anecdote on the programme the week that it happened, but we were actually thrown out of, a cos of that cosmetic surgery clinic in Bromsgrove. Don't you think that's cool? That is cool, I've actually. never been thrown out of anywhere before. I was mighty pleased, I can I tell. I was thrown out of a pub once. What for? Um, for playing air guitar to Bon Jovi records. <laughs> I think it was that. It was like that or throwing crisps around. I'd have thrown you out of the human race for that. I Wouldn't know. you want so to be so thrown out of a pub that was playing Bon Jovi records? Oh, yeah. We put it on, though. You did put it on. I'm afraid well, so. Well, that's why they threw you out. T. Ragic. Can I uh, just do a quick dedication, because this little girl is eight tomorrow, and she's waiting up to hear me say this. Why is there an eight-year-old listening to this programme? Um, I don't know. Uh, but her name is Charlotte Hanning, and she's from Erdington, and she's eight tomorrow. Lots of love from Mum and Dad, your sister Michaela, and your Grandma, but you probably knew all that anyway, apparently, which would explain why I couldn't get into the limelight. Right. She's only seven, and she's a seven-year-old listening to the programme? That's right. Well spotted. Ah. So you got your own level in maths then? Absolutely. Anyway, um, thank you for that, Ian. Happy birthday, little person. And uh, now it's time for a nice record.